Take a look at several ballot measures now. Let's begin with measure 209. This was the city of Portland's motor vehicle fuel tax. Portlanders voting overwhelmingly yes to renew that gas tax for another four years. And the one everyone was talking about, the homeless services tax on businesses and high earners, that overwhelmingly passed as well. Jenny Young following both these tax measures tonight. Jenny, a big surprise to a lot of folks that in these tough economic times, these two big money measures passed. Well, Jeff, I can tell you the folks behind uh, Measure 210 really excited tonight. We talked to them uh, within the last hour and a half, and they are celebrating. This is up by about 55,000 votes, overwhelmingly passed here in Multnomah County, which I think a lot of people were expecting. However, they voted it down in Washington County, and I can tell you opponents, people against this, say it is not fair for individuals, businesses, or consumers. This is a monumental achievement tonight and a monumental task ahead of us. A task to end chronic homelessness in the Tri-County area. Only net income is taxed. Metro Council approved Measure 210 just three months ago. It had a well-organized and well-financed campaign run by a group called Better Together. I took a look at the campaign contributions, and in the last week alone, they raised hundreds of thousands of dollars and even had a $10,000 cash donation from one of Governor Kate Brown's political action committees. I was told some of that cash was used to fight against misinformation from the opposition. Suggesting that this was a tax directly on groceries and medicine in the middle of a pandemic when people are worried about their ability to afford groceries and medicine. Lynn Snodgrass is the CEO of the Gresham Chamber. They campaigned against the measure. She says it was put on the ballot too soon and says it's not fair to place more financial burden on people and businesses during an economic crisis. It wasn't a matter of winning or losing. Let's just do it right. And now's not the time to tax. But if they win, and right now it appears that they will, doggone it, they better do it right. So we're told that this tax will kick in January 2021 and it will fund homeless services for the next 10 years. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. All right, Jenny, thank you. We